hello. Get tell me here. Bunny ballistics. Today we have another super veil, except these are jacketed hollow points instead of solid coppers. Still 115 grain. Um, plus peas. Um, excited for these. I hope these are a little faster than our other ones. Those were I was a little disappointed. Uh I saw so many videos on these, so excited. Okay. Anyways. Um We're gonna do our our, our usual. We're gonna go through our uh chrono test and everything. Um I changed up the chrono a little bit. Um it's still very similar, except now I added accuracy to it. So hopefully you guys can get a sense of accuracy. Um, granted, it's a little biased because I'm shooting and I am not the greatest shot, but um, you can still get an idea. And uh, I think it's around like five or six meters. I do it four, four to five, four to six, somewhere in there. So it's not super far. Um, and it's from a rest to try and take this out of the equation so um uh, make sure you like comment subscribe you know all all the silly banter always um patreon i am still um waiting for the first 10 and you'll get a little prize package of some stickers and um i will give you an expanded bullet if that's so what you want i have a few to choose from so if you go that route i will show you or um we can do some cast bullets for you and uh cast projectiles i should say so it's just going to be the light projectile and i'll powder coat them i have a few different molds and we can talk about it then um i'm also going to be putting like outtakes on my patreon um haven't really been using it like i should um and i'm trying i'm sorry um, it's already really hard putting up videos, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I it, it's me, sorry, you guys probably don't, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna try putting up out outtakes on there, and, um, videos up a day early if I can, um, and any, any tier will get it, one dollar up to whatever is, uh, whatever's there, all the money from Patreon goes to the channel, nothing goes to anything, myself aside to help the channel so ammo um guns whatever but it, it all goes back to the channel nothing goes to my personal expenses um all right enough rambling let's get back into um showing you the ammo and the pistol we're using so here we have our super veil 115 grain jacket of hollow points they are plus P loading. Um, the box is 1300 FPS, but does not give us a barrel size. So, this is what this looks like right here. And just to compare it, I actually have, that's the solid copper one. So you can see how different they are. You can see there's lead inside that one. And one's got a uh, nickel plating on it. So very interesting. And then we're gonna be using our Trust DP365, 3.7 inch barrel. I love this gun. It's amazing. I'm not I'm not a, a SIG fan girl, I swear. It's just the only guns I, I really have. So may, maybe, but um let, let's uh let's get to chronoing these. Alright, today we have a, another super veil. These are jacketed hollow points instead of our solid copper ones that we did last time. Uh, I realized I was using the wrong barrel, so I apologize. I swapped to our 3.7 instead of our 4.5. But we apologize for the other tests. The barrel will be a little faster than probably what uh, I would say they should be. But let's get on to this. Let's see. Not 
not bad. Much slower than their 1300 advertised, but pretty consistent. So we have Super Veil, regular hollow points, screw on a bare shell. And there we have our Super Veils, just jacketed half, uh, hollow points. Went to about 13 and a half. Stopped halfway in the gel, in this other gel block, I would say. Yep. And it looks like a nice opening. Let's shoot this through our denim and see what happens. And we have Super Veil copper point, or uh, <laughs> Second hollow point through our denim. All right, so we got our super veil. These are just jacketed uh, hollow points. And I shot this um, above our other one, which is exactly what I wanted to do, so it was perfect. As you can see, the wound started out really good. There's lots of fibers inside. It does kind of die down over here. There we go. So it does die out here. And there you can see. It looks like it expanded pretty nicely. It's about close to 12 and a half. But let's pull these out and see what they look like. Okay, so let's see our bear. So looks like it almost lost its jacket, but oh wait, it so it, it pulled out in one piece. Cleaning it, it came off. So we won't call that um, the bullet's fault, but I mean it was pretty pretty close so let's see we'll put it all together and see oh. Oh, no. this is supposed to be 115 so they broke up a lot I actually have another little piece let's see what we can get to 93 so that's not fantastic and that's out of our bear. So there's that one. Um, I guess I, I don't know if I actually showed you up close. Let's let's do that again. So as you can see, I mean it it blasted through there for I mean it was going so much slower than the rated box speed too, so I mean I think if it was going another whew, what was it? Like 220 basically? Because it was like 180 I think was its average. And then we have our denim one, which actually looks like it did much better actually hitting hitting the denim. It looks like it came out way nicer. Um, I'm pretty sure it still lost some stuff. i almost positive these aren't a bonded. Oh, oh no, they're definitely not, but yeah. Oh, so look at that, 115. So, I don't know, I guess the denim slowed it down enough to where this one just was okay, but the, the other one just disintegrated. I mean, there's pieces all over, and I mean, look at it. And it, it, it like, way folded back, so. Um, how am I going to diameter these um okay well let's figure that out and do diameter all right let's do diameter i mean i think we're just we can just do the copper on this but i put it in there we'll see it'll fall out probably uh but we have a point uh four nine seven to start and next we have a point four eight eight and last we have point five zero six and then we'll look at what the uh, denim looks like. 
Okay, our first denim shot, 0 0.601, and next we have 0.529, and lastly, 0.577. Okay, so there we have it for our other test of Super Veil. These did not seem, I mean, they did all right. Not a big fan that they're not bonded. Um, the jacket stayed on during the test, yes, and came off because I was cleaning it, but the odds of it coming off when actually firing, I would say, I feel like they're high. Granted, the one through denim totally disproves that. That's just how I feel. Um, so <laughs> I guess I should go off my data, not what I'm, I'm feeling, right? Uh, I mean, technically, it, it looks like this stayed on just fine. It had good retention of its weight. Um, the speed was not even close <laughs> to what it said on the box. Uh, it says 1300 FPS. We got, on average, I think 180. I'm sorry, 1080. 1080. Um, so that's pretty far below what it says and we have a 3.7 barrel whereas most of y'all probably have an even smaller barrel than that so um, that's unfortunate um, I mean I, I still like them like I said before it shoots at the barrel it goes pew pew it will do its job <laughs> if someone gets hit by it they will not be having a good day let's just say that um, but let me know what you guys think about them. It's again another boutique brand. These aren't sold in stores from what I've seen. Pretty much just online at their website, I believe. Um, but these were sent to us from by Angel. Um, he's amazing, thank you. He you, you totally went overboard <laughs> with sending me stuff, but I really appreciate it. And that's why I am trying so hard to get to them this week and um this week was all nine i'm sorry but i still have a bunch of 357 and 40 to do i promise and then i'm trying to get an either a 45 acp or a 10 millimeter kind of leaning towards the 10 millimeter but maybe someone else can sway me we'll see um yeah but that's about it you guys know the deal i said it all during the intro patreon Subscribe, love, hate, great. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> I love y'all. Uh, yeah. Bye.